Hey, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Uh, we're standing outside of Franklin and Poe here in the Fishtown neighborhood of Philadelphia, about to get a pair of my naked and famous jeans uh, hemmed. Now the reason I'm here is because they have a chain stitch hemming machine and because they have an amazing line of products. And I wanted to kind of give a little attention to the store uh, and let everyone kind of see what they have to offer here. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, we'll kind of walk in the store, show you what they have, what they're selling, what kind of amazing products they have. Then we'll watch my friend Luke in here do a uh, chain stitch on my pair of Naked and Famous. And then after that, I'll kind of explain a little bit about the chain stitch, why I went with that, and then we'll get out of here, so. All right, so here's a quick tour through the store, through Franklin and Poe. And while we're walking through here, looking at this amazing selection of products, I'm just gonna read you their, uh, some of the stuff from their mission statement on their website. Uh, it says here, Franklin and Poe is a reflection of the community in which we live. We take inspiration from the history of our city, our hardworking neighbors, and the friends and family that surround us. We offer a collection of quality clothing and durable goods for both men and women, with an emphasis on products expertly and ethically made in the USA, Japan, and Europe. Products that enhance our lives and get better with age. Products that tell a very personal story through every memory and moment they absorb. They are timeless and durable, meant to be worn hard, loved hard, and handed down. Embodying the idea that hardworking hands create the most beautiful things. All right, well, let me tell you something. After walking through this store and reading that mission statement, I can say that they are 100% on point. The selection of products in this store is top notch. I mean, we have brands like 316, the Flathead, uh, we have Red Wing Heritage, we have Naked and Famous, Telesin, Upstate Stock. Hollows Leather, Franklin and Poe has their own line, COF Studio, American Trench, Mr. Freedom, Moonstar, Momotaro, uh, Samurai Jeans, and just as you can see here, an amazing selection of denim. Um, if you're on this channel right now, there's a good chance you're into denim. So as we're just scrolling through here, you know, take a look at this wall of denim right here. Uh, both my kids thought this was super cool when I showed them the video. And honestly, ma'am, you know, we shop a lot of times online for our denim products. It was really cool to be able to go into a store uh, and see this amazing selection and see what they have sourced. So as we're going through here, you can also see in addition to denim, they've got hoodies, all right, they got socks, they got flannel shirts, uh, more denim over here, all right, pretty amazing. And really their merchandising as well is just really visually appealing. If you walk into this store, you're greeted with some really awesome music, which was so awesome I couldn't put it in this video because the artist wasn't okay with that. Um, but yeah, great music, a really good vibe, welcoming staff, and just look around. I mean, this selection is top notch. Uh, one of these days, I hope to come back and pick up one of these shirts right here because those looked super dope. Um, as we're moving around through the store, let's take a look here. We've got self-care products, you know, all types of... Looks like some different hair stuff, face creams, moisturizers, all the good stuff to keep you looking fresh. Uh, and really the colorways that they have in here are awesome. Uh, next visit here, I definitely plan on picking up one or two items. And let's also give a real shout out here. Franklin & Poe ships all over. Um, there's a $7 flat rate for shipping and they do free shipping uh, on domestic orders over $250. And honestly, if you go in this store and you spend only $250, I'll be impressed because I mean, I could have spent the whole bank here. Uh, as you see here, we got the red wing boots, a really nice selection. We got some button downs here. Uh, overall, just a really awesome shop, really cool place to spend some time. Uh, and then as you get over to here, we've got like some amazing fades coming up on these walls here. Let's take a quick look, yeah. I mean, I thought my Brave Stars with the 400 wares were awesome. These are legit, all right? This is what a lot of us strive for in those high contrast fades. And then here, you know, there's a sign about Franklin and Poe, known the world over. I'm pretty sure they are. And another shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles, Super Bowl champs. Let's not forget that. Uh, best of Philly retailers. And now we'll take a look at the chain stitch. But first, let's get a few close-ups of the Union Special.
All right, so thanks for watching. That was a really cool experience uh, in there, getting these jeans chain-stitched hemmed uh, with the Union Special sewing machine. Uh, also, I was really glad Luke could share a bit of the history uh, about the Union Special machine, uh, its original use, and kind of how it came to be. And another, um, if you're ever in the Fishtown area, or if you're just in Philadelphia, honestly, make your way out here to Franklin and Poe. Uh, the inventory is amazing. It is really top-notch product, really awesome customer service. Uh, and also, if you're not in the Philadelphia area, hit up their website. I'll put it in the description here. Uh, make sure you purchase something from them. These guys are doing really cool stuff, uh, really cool guys for the community out here in Philadelphia. And like I said before, really great experience. So thanks. All right, denim heads. So like I said before, that was a really cool experience over at Franklin and Poe. I'm really glad I got to go there and that Luke gave me some time uh, chatting behind the scenes about chain stitching, the history of the Union Special, uh, and also just so I could see his handiwork. He is really good with that Union Special sewing machine. So a few things before we get into like even showing what this chain stitch is, I think we should explain what is a chain stitch because you know, so often we hear we should get our raw denim chain stitch. It's the only way you don't want to do a traditional hem. So really what is a chain stitch? Uh, chain stitching is a sewing method, a hemming method that chains two threads together uh, to create a more durable and flexible hem with a desired roping effect. And that roping effect really comes after your first soak or your first wash. Um, what we'll do though in a moment is show you, show you the hem that they did at Franklin and Poe, which is spot on, top notch. I'll show you a pair, uh, another pair of denim that I had uh, that I've washed once or twice so we can see that roping effect. And then we'll look at another sewing method that Levi's does that's not a chain stitch. Uh, so we can kind of compare the differences, all right? So let's get into the history of the chain stitch. All right, so when did the chain stitch begin or when was the first chain stitch machine patented? And from my studies, my research, I learned that in 1830, a gentleman by the name, a tailor by the name of Bartholomew Timonier, 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 please forgive me if I pronounce that wrong, uh, created the first chain stitch machine. So since 1830, this machine has been used. Now, what I learned in my interview with Luke at Franklin and Poe is that while the chain stitch sewing machine has one purpose, it has multiple functions, all right? Purpose, the purpose of it is to sew something, all right? You sew, you sew the hem into a jean, into the jeans, you sew the jeans with it, all right? The function are the varied uses. So one, obviously, like I talked about, is sewing. You, you would sew a hem, uh, you'd sew denim, you'd sew overalls, anything that needs a sturdy uh, a hem to it. In addition, what I learned is that prior to Ziploc bags, self-sealing bags, you know, let's think you're shipping like a 50 pound bag of coffee uh, in, a, in, a, in a shipping bag, like maybe a burlap container or one of those a burlap bag, or one of those real heavy duty, I think they're cardboard or like paper bags, right? Um, prior to like the Ziploc bags, how would you seal that up to ship it overseas or to ship it long distances? And what I learned is that what they would do is they would use a chain stitch sewing machine and they would put the chain stitch in, all right, they'd sew the bag. And then when the user gets it, you take their knife or their pen and they, they kind of dig under here and loosen this up. And then they should just be able to pull the stitch right out. Now, this is my first time doing it. Um, but what we'll do here is we'll get, the, we'll get a little cut going in here. And Luke showed me he is, he is the expert. Uh, I am still a rookie at this. So we're just kind of messing around, having some fun here. Hopefully no one's too critical. Uh, hopefully everyone likes a little fun. And there you go, we start pulling and it starts to pull out the stitch, okay? And then we can come here. And I chose a bad spot because it's right on, right where the jeans come together. But let's see if we can get this. All right, so you pull it out there. And I'll also show Luke doing this. I took a little video of him. Like I said, he's an expert. He made this look super simple, which it probably is if I know what I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, let's just cut all this right here. So there we go. And then you would just pull it right off, right? So I was not as graceful as Luke. I'm going to put his video in here as well.
but check it out. We finally, um, I was going the wrong direction. I unhooked the chain. All right, and we pull this right out. So think, you know, you got like a huge bag of coffee or like your dog food bag. You would just have that on there and whoosh, rip that right off, all right? So that is the construction. And that is, like I said, it has one purpose, but multiple functions, all right? So that's something I thought that was really cool about the chain stitch sewing machine, all right? So next we'll get into a little bit more about this chain stitch hem and uh, what it looks like, all right? So give me a second, we'll get these jeans set up and we'll take a look. All right, up close and personal, right? So first things first, the chain stitch is really only noticeable when you cuff the denim. All right, so here, kind of this looks like your, your standard stitch to me. All right, now let's cuff them up and let's take a look at that, at the chain stitching. And I have not set my cuffs yet. So these is just as a loose cuff, all right? So let's take a look. See if we can get a better, I can zoom in, a little macro. So take a look at this, all right? You can see it's kind of got, it looks like a chain. It's got this little looping in here. And what I'll do is I'll take the old cuff from these that was cut off and I'll, I'll pull it apart and show you that. But as you can see, it looks like a chain, all right? Also, these parts here, um, where it comes back and loops on itself, will shrink up a little bit uh, when I clean these up and look really sharp and tight. But overall, uh, why do we chain stitch? Why do people want to go with this? Well, one, you know, I said it's a little, it's a more durable hem, they say, but honestly, it's period appropriate. Right? A lot of us denim heads who are wearing uh, raw denim really like that vintage Americana, that vintage American denim look. And that's what we go for. So to be aesthetically pleasing and aesthetically correct, the chain stitch machine, the Union Special especially, is uh, the way to achieve that. So now let's take a look at these. These are one of like, you know, when I was just getting into raw denim, uh, these are like a pair of Brave Stars here. And they have a chain stitch machine at their facility as well. Um, let's take a look. As you can see, these have been soaked and washed, so the chain looks a little tighter. Uh, where are we at here? It's looped around. Uh, that part shrunk up a lot after being soaked, okay? And just overall, like I said, like when you cuff your jeans, I cuff all my, all my raw denim, that's my look. I kinda got a good little old school rockabilly look. You want that, you want that chain stitch. That just looks sharp, all right? Even here, let me see if I can get you a better angle of that. Even the chain stitching there looks really good, all right? And we'll look at those Naked and Famouses too. Again, man, they did a really awesome job. I can't, I can't say enough good about Franklin and Poe. If you're not in the Philly area, uh, then you should be shipping your denim there to get them, uh, to get them hemmed. Do a great job. Um, yeah, overall, even here, and that's not from the hem. That's from Naked and Famous Chain Stitch. All right, you can see, like that lock, that chain, that look. All right. But now, like I said, we'll show you another pair. I got a pair of Levi's Five Elevens here. Um, they don't chain stitch. Again, this is not a shot. This is not a dig at Levi's. I, I wore Levi's. I still wear Levi's. Uh, I love it. It's a great product. Okay, it looks kind of the same there. When we cuff this up, we're going to see a few differences, right? One, it's not a chain. That's just like a lock stitch, if I'm not mistaken. I'm no seamstress or tailor, so if I misspoke about that, please correct me. I do apologize to anyone in the, in the trade. Also, non-selvage, I love the selvage. You know, on here, it's just a standard jean. Um, yeah, so overall, it still doesn't look bad. Um, I just don't think they use a Union Special uh, over at Levi's, okay? It's still a pretty decent, decent sewing machine. Um, and if I'm mistaken, again, correct me, really. I'm just kind of talking about the chain stitch and just showing you how it looked different from the Levi's that I have, all right? Um, so now, what we're going to get into, uh, I'm going to show you that, that quick video in a moment of Luke ripping out the stitch because he did a great job. So give me just a moment, we'll get that all queued up for you. 
And yeah, I mean, let's take a look. You know, here is here is what it looked like, you know, the, the original hem, the original cuff that was removed, the one that I also massacred, uh, pulling out the stitching. All right, same thing, we got the chain stitching, you know, all around. And the other nice thing, all right, a lot of, a lot of tailors don't have the appropriate thread color to match into your raw denim, all right, to match into what it looked like prior. So give me a second. We'll, uh... All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at these cuffs one last time before we get out of here. All right, here's the Naked and Famous Union Special Chain Stitch Hem done by Luke over at Franklin and Poe. All right, this is gonna look even better once I soak these things. And side note, come back to this channel. I'm going to soak these first and then wear them. I'm gonna kind of do things different this wear. All right, here we got the Levi's. Not ugly, definitely doesn't look like what your mom might have done for you in like elementary school or God forbid, high school. I know I lived through that. Um, definitely a quality hem and just not as cool looking as the chain stitch. And then over here, we've got the Brave Stars that have yeah, a few hundred wears, at least one or two soaks. And there's that roping effect that looks even tighter after the wash, all right? Super awesome. And then, you know, you just need the obligatory shot of all your denim. All right, so let's wrap this video up, all right? All right. So here we go. We got our denim here. We got our chain stitch. We got our, ch we got our chain stitch that have not been soaked yet. Looking really good. We got a pair of Levi's that are not chain stitched, have been washed multiple times in the washer. And then we got a pair of Brave Stars here that have at least one soak, multiple wears. You can see a little bit difference in the chain stitch, all right? Uh, one other thing I like, uh, with the chain stitch hem, in, in my opinion, all right, my opinion, not this might not be a fact, I feel like this sits a lot better, this part on our cuff. It doesn't get all ridgy and wavy. Uh, there's probably a denim term for that. Um, it just stays nice and crisp, all right? You can see these, like I said, these are brand new, um, never been worn. Um, but even looking here, you don't get that like wrinkle per se. All right, which on the Levi's, you can start to see it in here. Uh, uh, you can really see it here. It's a little bit wavy uh, all through there, all right? So yeah, th those are last parting thoughts. So again, remember, you know, I talked about how the Union Special uh, has one purpose, multiple functions, all right? Like I said, it was designed, you know, originally they were using this to seal up bags and you could just rip the string right out, open your bag of coffee or whatever it was. Uh, in addition, they were using it to sew up jeans um, to put the hems in, to mend overalls, things of that nature. Um, so overall, uh, I thought it was a really cool experience getting to witness a Union Special in action. I've never seen one. Um, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be ginormous. Probably the same pe reason people think I'm six foot five when they meet me, I'm five foot eight. Just kidding, no one thinks I'm six foot five. Um, but yeah, I think in addition, it was just really cool that Franklin and Poe let me get into their shop film a little bit in there, chat with them, uh, get a little bit of history on this and show me a few little cool things. So if you're ever in the Philadelphia area, please hit up Franklin and Poe, stop in there. They got an amazing selection of American uh, men's vintage clothing. All right, they have an awesome selection of raw denim, jackets, leather jackets, shirts, socks, uh, self-care stuff. And if you're not in the Philadelphia area, if you're not gonna be there, check out their website. I'm gonna put it in the description and I'll flash it on the screen. Uh, check them out. Really awesome guys. Really nice shop. Really polite. All right. You don't get any bad vibes in there. Uh, second, I hope this helped you figure out a little bit more about chain stitching, uh, seeing the process and seeing what the end product looked like. And hopefully it helps you form an opinion on whether or not you want to do a chain stitch, a lock stitch, or just use the sewing machine that uh, it's in your mom's basement and get them sewn up. Honestly, I don't care what you do you should be free to wear what you wanna wear, how you wanna wear, because that's truly what fashion is, right? It's, it's what makes you feel good. Uh, and what's, it's what, look good, what looks good on you. So do you, be happy with it. And I just hope this helps you make a decision or at least dispel some myths or give you some facts. 
Uh, if it did help out, think about hitting that like button. Think about hitting subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more likes I get, the more cool stuff like this we can do. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope everything's going great. Let's get ready for fall. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.